Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more Balloons TD4. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take care of this next one called Riverbed. Riverbed is a very um it, it's a very straightforward track, but because of its length and because of one new feature in here, it does make it into the advanced category. So let's go ahead and talk about that. The part that makes this stage or this track, I should say, pretty difficult is well, you will see once I actually start this round. But first off, I'm gonna put a monkey here and I'm going to put a tack shooter right over here. Okay. So as I was saying, pay attention to how the balloons spawn. Some of them spawn a bit higher, some of them spawn a bit lower. Because of this, all the balloons don't spawn in a line. You know, one, then the second, then third, fourth. Two of them can spawn at the same time or more. They'll also spawn random. Sometimes if your towers cannot reach the entire track in the middle, they will not be able to pop all the ones on the track, which makes it harder. That feature, along with the length of this track, you know, not being too long, where only towers in the middle really get access to hitting balloons on both sides. Because of all those combinations, that's what makes this track into the advanced category, and makes it overall pretty damn difficult, so you have to be careful. These first rounds are really easy though, so it's not going to be a problem. As you can see. Very, very simple stuff. So, what I always like to do is actually get a tag shooter right in that spot where I'm basically talking about, you know, right there. You get a tack shooter and it will take care of many, many things in there. I always like to put a dart monkey, basically the bottom left one that you see right there because it gets good access to the balloons incoming. I guess I'll go ahead and, yeah, and put, put a boomerang thrower right there. The boomerang thrower along with this ambidextrous stuff will be able to pop quite a lot. Quite a lot of balloons, so that's really good. And also I will um, be able to attack balloons and reach the other side, whereas all my other towers right now, I I don't think they can. That's the thing. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and get a glue gunner right over here and put one right there. The glue gunner will help a good amount, you know, slow down the balloons that are incoming. That's actually a good angle to put it to. Remember to never put glue gunners in the side angle in the way that balloons go through the side because it kind of makes it difficult for the glue gunner to reach because the glue, as you kind of have seen before, has a tendency to miss if it tries to attack balloons that are going side to side rather than directly going towards it. It's weird, but yeah, that's the way it works. I guess the glue just shoots way too slow. Okay, round 13 already, all right? We're going pretty fast here, and yeah. So obviously I put a banana farm there because the profits will, you know, they're good eventually in the long run. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. Round 15 with 700, all right, you know, I should, yeah, start putting these things. The bomb towers, the cannons. All right, one of them leaked over there, but it's all right. We got our banana farm, so we're over 100 lives already, still. All right, so I think the next thing to do would be to upgrade all the cannons, although I'm not really, uh, kill, 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 yes. And the dexterous, that helped, it popped both at once. All right, I gotta put another one over here for some insurance, you know, in case some blooms make it over here. You'll be able to pop some. Okay. So let's see. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now you got it. See? That, 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 um, what the hell do we call it? Oh, the monkey, oh my god. Monkey tower, whatever. Dart monkey. Helps a lot. All right, should I upgrade my cannon to missile launcher, or should I... Let me think this for a second. Hmm. Thinking. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Alright. I'm also going to get a second one because, you know, I need to start getting a lot of these towers. These cannons because you always want to set yourself up well. And, and as always, put the cannons in the beginning of the track. That way that they can deal with mobs. I think that's the furthest point I'll go ahead and put cannons right here where I put this third one. Um... As far as the other ones, they're going to go to the left of that dart monkey at the bottom left corner. And I'll probably put another one at the top too. Okay, I'm going to get a plane too. Planes are helpful, of course, as always. Alright. And, alright, we took care of that round easily. Um, alright, there we go, rapid fire. So playing with rapid fire is going to help a lot. Um, I think the next thing to do would be to upgrade the rest of these things into missile launchers. So go ahead and do that. Um, there we go, missile launcher. And I don't have enough points for the next one, so I need to wait on that. But at least we're making good progress. 
Okay, let's see here. So far it's looking pretty good, it is. As I said, the track is fairly straightforward. Overall, not one of the most challenging advanced stages, but because of its shortness along with multiple, like, I don't know how you call them, but balloons basically spawning randomly on the track, some higher, some lower, some simultaneously, that accounts, all that accounts into making it an advanced track. Definitely one of the easiest advanced ones, but it's still an advanced track. All right, so um, we're gonna get this right here, Monkey Beacon. So that'll of course give it range for all the towers. I'm gonna give it wider influence. Now I need to wait for jungle drums. All right, we're closed. There we go. And I'll just go ahead and give you sonar beacon in case the plane couldn't reach some. Okay, there we go. It's all looking pretty good right now. It is okay. There we go. Round 32 finished. Now round 33, a bunch of camo balloons. Good timing for that sonar beacon, although the plane, spy plane, would have probably handled it all. Either way, whatever, I'd like to be safe. Okay, now I'm gonna get another cannon and put one right over here. There we go. Um, round 34. Gonna get another one here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think that's enough of it. Yeah, that's enough. I think the next thing to do would be to actually upgrade all those two um, Moab Maulers, at least eventually. But right now I'm just upgrading them all to missile launchers, and then we'll see. We'll see. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go. You know, I just want. I, I, I mean, as much as I, I mean, as, as much as I find this, oh, as much as I find this really, as fun as I find this place, where I kind of want it to end. I mean, you know, I'm, I've been anxious to actually get started on a new let's play. And as always, if you ever want to. Give recommendations on the game to play, you know, then go ahead and give your recommendations, you know. Some people have told me other defense games here and there, some better tower defense games, and I've looked into them, and some of them look pretty good. I haven't played them, and of course I have to, you know, kind of play them to get used to them before doing an LP of it, but, yeah. Always feel free to give me your, you know, feedback or whatever, some suggestions on what games to play. But it's always a good thing. It really is. Okay, now what we want to do is, let's see... Oh yeah, okay. So we got a ring of fire, I didn't talk about that. Um, but yeah, ring of fire, now I'm getting triple shots here. Um, Alright, there we go, triple shot. The one on the bottom right, it's kind of far, I don't know what should be wasting. Okay, well there we go. Upgrade you. You to a lightsaber throw, yeah, just crazy upgrades right now, a lot. Big amount. Okay, um, I think it's a good time to start saving up for the Moab Maulers. I honestly think it is. Because really, I mean, what else are we going to spend our points on? And we seem to be pretty good. The first Moab will appear in round 46, as always, so... Yeah. Well, yeah, see, we're, we're doing good. We really are. Okay. Oh, yeah, round 41 also takes a long time. Round 41 and 45 are the two that just take a long time. They're really easy because not a lot of balloons come, you know, compared to the other rounds around these rounds, but they're just very long and tedious. It's crazy. Okay. Time to get Moab Maulers. Here we go. Gotta upgrade them all to Moab Maulers. Because, you know, that's very helpful. And there we go. One more. Alright. So we got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. Wow. Okay. Um. Alright, there we go. There you go, now I'm gonna get you to the glue splatter or whatever, yeah, that. The very annoying sound that I always call it. Uh, now I'm gonna get a super monkey and put one about over here. I'm gonna give you super range, but hold on, actually. Um, actually, no, I think I'm. Uh, I don't know. I'll just, uh, okay. Yeah, th there's me again with my undecisiveness. Alright, so. We are kind of nearing the end of time here, and we're approaching higher in the round, so it could, would be a good time to end the part soon, alright. I need a couple more points. A couple more points to reach 3780. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Alright, well, hold on, actually. Nah, I'll just do it, alright. Here we go, laser vision. Alright, so, um, I guess with that we're gonna end the part. Actually, no, well, I wanna do round 40, 46 first. Actually, no, I, I, you know, I could do a couple more rounds after that. Hmm, I don't know, we'll see. 
We'll see how long this round takes. Round 45. All right, actually, we're almost. All right, we're done. We're done with that. So round 46 is gonna be uh, you know, Moab Mauler or Moab Mauler, really Moab. Um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll just go ahead and do a couple more rounds. Maybe like up to 48, 49. We'll see. We have 7,000 points. Oh my god. All right, that's what we're gonna spend it on. Um. I think it would be a good idea to... Let's see. Oh yeah, okay. I'll upgrade to Plasma Vision. I forgot about that. Okay, now we'll see what we have with the remaining points. Um... It doesn't seem like there's anything, you know, of, of interest because we seem to have all the cool towers. We could just get more of those. Okay, I'm going to put another Dark Monkey over here. Another one over here. And put two more triple shots just to be safe. There we go. And I think, um... Hmm. Okay, fine. Alrighty, there we go. Okay. Alright, sorry, I'm not talking. Alright, I should be talking more. And, um... So yeah, round 49 is going to be the end because, yeah, we're not going to do round 50, no way. Alright, so we're just going to end up right here. And we'll see. Alright, hurry up. Alright, there we go. Okay, alright, okay, fine, fine. Round 50, there we go. Round 50 is not a long one. There's just like two Moabs or something. Um, hurry up. At least I think there is. Alright, so yeah. Alright, so next time we're going to continue with this. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.